Hello everyone, hope you all doing well. Um, I'm going to repair this Xbox controller today and hopefully I can make a video out of it. Um, this is not a Microsoft Xbox controller but it is for the Xbox One controller or Slim controller. This is a company named Power A. It's a third party uh, controller. The customer came with a broken USB port so I'm going to try to replace this. Hopefully I can make it work again. Let's try. For first, we need to re remove all this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 screws and then we will try to pry open the casings, okay? Great. It's very easy to remove. Only remove those screws and then the whole shell will come out. So for this USB I need to work on that. Let's remove the board and see how can we do that. There is one screw here, one screw here that I can see. I think we need to remove that and then hopefully it will come off. Remove this uh, Vibrator motors connector out. Okay, good news is there's nothing behind the usb connector so i can use my heat gun to remove the usb port it's gonna be easy <laughs> just i have to be very careful with this too um you guys can see this too they are plastic uh, buttons the heat gun mustn't burn them this too
is nothing inside of the TV's report. So try to find one, I hope. I think I do have one of this. Let me have a look. I'll be back now. Okay, right guys. Um the USB I did not find the correct ones, but I'm going to improvise. I will make a plan. Um, the old USB port was with four leg. Let me show you guys. It has four legs. See, one, two, three, four. Now, the, all the four legs I have, they, if I put them, they goes into the hole, but um, the connectors, the connectors are coming too much in front. On the board, it's coming here. So basically, the pins on the board, they are behind the connectors. Now, what I did, I improvised, as I said, I took a two, uh, another four pins connector and then I cut. You can see there, there was two legs. I cut those two out. There was two legs at the back. The, the two. One was here and the other one was there. These two, I cut them off. I only leave the middle ones, these two. So, after I cut the front ones, now look. When I place them on the board, Look at the microscope. Check those pins. They aligned perfectly. So instead of four legs, I'm gonna use the two legs uh, USB connector or USB port. Uh, I will. I have to do a good welding work on that or soldering work on that so that the port doesn't break off again when the customer is using the connector. So that is the best option for me at the moment that what I can do. I think it will be fine. My guess is it will be fine. So yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me. Let me get the board holder, please. I will be back in a moment.
Right, guys, I did clean it. Um, it is clean. Not a bad work. That's the USB connectors. It's clean. Let's connect this to my computer. And if you guys hear a noise, then it is working come on the light comes on and I don't know if you guys hear the the device is this uh, detected detected Let me try. Uh, 
I don't know if you guys hear, but they, it did came de uh, detected. <clears throat> but when I put it in on the uh, controller itself, uh, box housings, then I will test it in front of you guys or in front of the camera if everything comes on. Right. Hold on. Yeah, it's the USB cable. The client did gave me the USB cable, I forgot. Light comes on. Yep, it is working. I don't know if I can show you guys. I hope. show you try to show you guys okay guys when I press the Xbox button here look at my screen the whole Xbox panel comes in so the controller is fixed um, yeah we're gonna call it a day and thank you for watching this video uh, like and subscribe. Goodbye.